All right, the goal of this question is for you to try to find the surface area and the volume of this prism. When you're trying to find the surface area and volume of a prism, you want to follow these four steps. First thing you want to do is identify the base. The base is a congruent shape that's both parallel and opposite on the prism. The triangle in this case is what you'll notice is the shape that's parallel and opposite and congruent. So then once you find and identify the base, the next thing you have to do is find the area of the base. The area of that triangle is found by doing one half base times the height. Now the height we're referring to is the height of this triangle. The height of it is 12. And the base of it is 15. So if I multiply my problem out, if I go 1 half times 12 times 15, I'll get an answer of 90. That's the area of my base. Okay. Next, thing, next part of the thing we want to do before we start finding actual calculations is to find the perimeter of our base. If you take a squared plus b squared equals c squared, in this case, just to try to find the perimeter, uh, that answer comes out to be 369. 369 and the square root of that. Okay, now you can leave it in its exact form. It might be easier for us to work with later on as well. Now, if we're only going to find, all we have to do then is try to figure out the surface area and the, and the volume. We use these two formulas. The surface area formula is just saying find the area of your base, which I just said was 90. Take that times 2 plus the perimeter of your base. The perimeter of your base is going to be this next part is finding the lateral sides, essentially. This right here is the lateral surface area, okay? So when I do this perimeter of the base times the height, that's going to be your square root of 369, 369 uh, plus 27 times the height. Now, the height in this problem is how tall or how far apart your two parallel sides are. In this case, it's going to be 30. So I'm going to do 30 for my height. And if I, put that in my, if I put this in my calculator, I will have the surface area of my prism. Next thing I'm going to try to do is find the volume. That's the easier of these two. The area of the base, again, again is 90 times my height of 30, and then I'll have that answer as well. Put those both in the blank, and you'll be on your way. Good luck.